from Purbalinga to a worldwide aroma. This is the village of Petcheli Oil Production Center in Purbalinga, Central Java. HEW Solar, the integrated company of solar energy system, has completed the installation of solar panel in the area. The electrical energy generated is channeled to dry the freshly harvested wet patchly leaves before being processed into oil. Jadi di Purbalingga itu banyak petani-petani nilam yang mana pada saat kondisi gitu Pak ya. Jadi pada saat kondisi musim hujan atau mungkin karena di pegunungan itu kan sun hour itu cuma berapa jam gitu. Jadi itu dibutuhkan suatu pengeringan yang relatif masif gitu sehingga dibuat semacam rumah kaca. Di plastik sehingga udara panas itu terserap untuk pengeringan daun nilam. Nah, pengeringan daun nilam itu mempunyai humidity, Pak. Jadi ada penguapan sehingga diperlukan fan atau exhaust yes. untuk ya mengeluarkan. Nah, fungsi dari off grid solar yang didesain oleh Nex dan oleh yang dimiliki oleh adalah off grid yang mana daya elektrikal itu dipakai untuk exhaust fan. This is for the first time. The solar energy used by the villages in Purbalinga in the processing of petroli oil. From Purbalinga, the petroli oil is delivered to Indeso factory in Chelengsi area, Bogor Regency, West Java. Indeso is a national company which produces and supplies aromatic ingredients for the food and consumer goods industry worldwide. One of the raw materials comes from Purbalinga Petroli Oil Production. Just like in Purbalinga, the Indeso factory in Chilengsi Bogor also has been utilizing electrical energy from sunlight. The utilization of solar energy is in line with Indeso's vision, which known as 3P, People, Partnership, and Planet. Indeso began to build solar power plants in 2016. The project investment of 500 kilowatt capacity is worth 9 billion rupiah. Kita berhitung di tahun 2016 itu biaya investasi masih di kisaran 11 m. Karena kita dapat dan terus prosesnya bergulir sepanjang 2017 itu aja tiga kali harganya turun. Gitu sehingga total biaya investasinya bisa turun di sekitar 9 m. On the 7th of March 2018. The environmentally friendly energy sources are starting to generate electricity. From the average needs of 2 MW, one quarter come from the solar power plants. The presence of solar energy source in Indeso factory is the result of cooperation between the government of Indonesia and Japan through GCM or Joint Crediting Mechanism. Implementation of cooperation conducted by Next Energy. Over the last four years, there were 30 environmentally friendly energy projects in various sectors in which the development is subsidized through the GCM scheme. Its total investment reaches 130 million US dollars. In the food industry sector, Indeso became the first private company to pioneer the utilization of solar energy source. Indeso, ini adalah salah satu proyek yang kami banggakan sekali karena ini pertama kali untuk pabrik makanan, industri makanan pertama kali di Indonesia. Indeso's measure to utilize environmentally friendly power source is highly appreciated by the Indonesian government. Ini merupakan kerjasama bilateral antara Indonesia dan Jepang. Ditandatangani 2013 antara Menko Perekonomian Indonesia dengan Menteri Luar Negeri Jepang. Nah, Proyek ini atau uh, skema ini mendorong perusahaan-perusahaan swasta Indonesia dan Jepang untuk berinvestasi di uh, low carbon development. Jadi uh, kegiatan-kegiatan low carbon dengan mendapat subsidi dari pemerintah Jepang. Jadi keuntungannya buat Indonesia adalah kita bisa menarik investasi, kemudian kita juga dapat capacity building, kita dapat teknologi yang baik, dan juga uh, apa namanya lingkungan yang lebih bersih. Indonesia is a tropical country with abundant sunshine. Amid the issue of global warming, solar energy can be a solution. Solar energy is not only friendly but also cost effective. Solar energy is a gift from God that is full of blessings.